up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rocky.com's Garage Tape Transformers Story Finders. Or GSCF2 It's a new show, and today we're doing another mail call new haul where we're looking at a bunch of stuff that I got from a thrift store called Valley Village. It's one of our favorite thrift stores. Um, well, there's really two favorite thrift stores that we go to. Yeah, there's Goodwill, there's Valley Village. Um, I haven't been to Mission Thrift Store again, and Salvation Army is really not too much there. Uh, that being said, let's get right to what I found. Firstly, I found this big guy. It is pretty expensive for my taste, but it is big, so why not? Look at how big that is! And of course, it is a Rescue Bots Optimus Prime, and to transform him, you need to pop him off from there. And actually, he does kind of like a. Uh, oof. Oh! Auto transformation. Uh oh, he's too big for the frame. <laughs> anyway, let's he's pan so big. up just so that you can see him. And uh, so there's his price tag, five bucks. So he's a little expensive. So uh, yeah, I, I think I'll transform him back into his truck mode, and that should be pretty quick. Oh, it's all, almost like auto transform, like two steps basically. So that is pretty cool. I should remove this price tag already. Um, and pretty expensive, but I mean, this probably sold for at least forty dollars. My guess is it was sold for forty dollars. So for five bucks, it's still kind of a bargain. I'm just a sucker for these things. So yeah, there's that first guy. And speaking of big guys, I did find this one as well. And this one is a little cheaper. It is. It is. So it's this thing. It's not actually a guy per se. It's like uh, if you have one of the super wings, they sit in here. And then they, this whole thing can transform. So it's like a truck. It's four bucks, and then it transforms into a. Um, Daddy, that super, that that one is for Jet. Jet is one yep. of the super. Ones. It transforms. There you go into a robot. Oh, it's a really Whoa. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now those two look like his eyes. He has arms, I mean fists, actually karate chop, hands, and then yeah, um, I'm gonna pan up so that you can see him or it. Let's pan up, give me a second. There you go. And and so like I was saying, he's there's supposed to be a super wings guy, probably Jet, who should be sitting here. Yeah, he, we've put him away. We're recording this during the time when we're moving. So we don't yet have everybody in the collection back on display. So yeah, uh, four bucks, pretty good find, I would say. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty, and yeah, pretty cool. And I, I like the quality of plastic of these things. So anyway, transform him, rotate down. Oops, tuck in the fists and then the elbows. Fists and then the elbows. Oh, I I didn't. I missed this one. You could have put that in there. Yeah, okay, sorry, we have to pan down again. There you go. And sorry, um, ooh, I think that's it. Do the shoulders like this in? No, that's it. Oh. So and then you just connect the legs together with the pegs. It's a pretty boring truck mode without Oh, wait, look. It, it almost feels like this thing separates. Or it's just. Oh, well, I'm not gonna force it. But, but basically, that's how it looks like. It's a super wings truck. Pretty cool. Let's put somebody super in there. Um, uh, hold on. Wait. Um, let's. Um, okay, I found the perfect guy. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. So we we found these two big guys. Well, two big trucks basically. Let's put them out of the way first. We're kind of out of the way. And last but not least, we have one. I, I found this bag. It is just three dollars, but there's this transformer-like thing in there. I don't think it's a legit transformer, but we'll figure it out. There's a bunch of looks like uh, My Little Pony toys in there. Of course, I'm not familiar with them. There's this pink pony. Um, do you want to play with that toy, boy? Okay, I'm gonna sell it. And then there's this yellow pony with the pink hair. Or do they all have pink hair? And there is also, oh, this one. I don't know who this is. I feel like it's a, a bunny wabbit from Alice in Wonderland or something. Bunny wabbit. And then there's also this wabbit, orange wabbit. thingy, which is, um, oh, oh it's, it's just a, it's a cup. Uh, oh, 
No, it, it, it's just a bunch of orange stuff. So there's this thing, and then there's another Ooh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then there's this orange um, wrench tool thingy. And then, um, and then there's a, what looks awful, I thought it was Barbie. Um, I don't know what line this is from, but it is, excuse me, what? By Mattel. I almost feel like, I, I thought it was a Barbie, but so I don't it know could who, be. which line this is from. Of course, we're not interested in that. We are only interested in this. Who is it? Who is it? Is it Bludgeon or what? All right, no, I, I doubt it's Bludgeon, but I could be wrong, of course. Um, I feel like it's Rack and Ruin. So here it says Fighter, made in China. <laughs> you know it's not a Transformers uh, toy, but- Rack and Ruin. Yeah, that was my guess. Eh? Let, let me, let me, okay, so it, let me start from what I think the tank mode should look like. Um, okay. So that's probably the tank mode. The yeah, that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the tank mode. So it looks but like it shoots some missiles. Okay, yes, bud? Uh, no, okay. So we're gonna pop those out. This is gonna be the front. It looks like this is the back. Okay. It could also work as the front. And then you pull this all the way to the other side. And then there's um, those things. I think you're like And the then you can pull down the I think he's missing forearm. Hands. Yep. And he has fists somewhere in there. I don't know how you can pull them out. That's uh, one of the things you design. I mean, when you're designing a toy, come on. Oh, well. Oh, there you go. And then somehow it feels like it can separate. Yes, me too. And then there's that part. Or maybe it's missing a part or something. Yeah, those are the heads. Oh, 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 oh. These things rotate. And then what? Oh, look at that. There's something in there that you can plug something into. I think it I can like separate. It, it can, Daddy. So I think, yeah, it, it used to have something here. It might be a part of a combiner or something. Yeah, so I, I don't know what this is. I'm going to finish. I can't I'm see. I'm going to his circuits. I mean, the quality isn't great, but it's not very bad, unlike the more recent um, knockoffs that we, we see. I don't think that's a knockoff. So I, yeah, I, I don't think so too. Okay. Well, it looks like there's a little bit of a switch here. Oh, okay. 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 I, I feel like, yeah, you, you, and then you insert something in here and I don't know what. And then I feel like it becomes like a uh, part of a combiner. It's definitely your arm if it is part of a combiner. And then these things, man, I wish I knew what this really was and have it complete at least, or maybe even just have it complete. And then, oh, I feel like it separates, but I'm afraid to play around too much with it. I'm not afraid. Yeah. But this is this is why we spent three dollars, buddy. So is it three dollars or four dollars? I think it was three. Yeah. Two ninety nine, Daddy. It wasn't three dollars. Oh boy. I mean, I I, I don't want to force it. That's so yeah. Um. Do you guys know who this is? If you do, and what's the what are the missing parts? Obviously, there's probably a turret or something in here. Um. And then why does it have this? And obviously, it's missing missiles as well. This almost looks like the, a part of like another robot. Check that out. It might be like two and one. Yeah. Except for the fist. Yeah. Or yeah, it might be part of a combiner. Maybe this whole thing becomes like the um, what? Yeah, of a larger robot. I think that's what this is. And then this one, this is where you combine the rest of the robot. This is like the core of a kid. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna break it. I'll try to figure it out. And if when we do, we'll feature him in a future episode. But that being said, yeah, that's about it for this. I mean, yeah. Wait, let me just pull out. There you go. That's about it for this episode of Ronald Dye Gums. Your Eyes Heal Transformers Toy Finders. Over to you, see you for sure. It's a new show. Once again, this has been another Mail Call New Hall episode where we looked at a bunch of. Stuff that we got from Value Village, it's a thrift store here in Canada. There's also Value Village th stores in the US. We hope you like this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on the social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's an obvious and share this video with your friends, your family, loans, and everybody you know. And until next time, Autobots, wrap up, roll out.